book out of this world as it was really informative. I loved it because it had um, an appearance like horrible histories, all the like uh, little cartoons and um, fact files. And I found this really helpful because it broke down the information into bite-sized chunks. Sometimes there's like silly things and I really like pictures. Did you know, for example, that the first beings sent into space were all animals? One of these animals was a dog called Liger in 1957. We have decided to recreate this amazing event here today with this highly trained specimen. We've done several test runs which have all ended in disaster, but I'm sure we've got the right amount of gunpowder this time. We'll just strap her in. You are not sending my little princess into space. Oh, what do you mean to your... It's a very good read, and it's a book that I've enjoyed. It's really for sort of full-on, all-time space fanatics. a really intriguing cover. Makes you want to just open it and read it. I like science experiments because they have lots of different science experiments inside that you can try at home and also they're very interesting they explain to you how to work. It shows you about how to make your own lightning come out of your finger. No school! Hello! Hello! Can you help us with our experiment on the nucleation process? Certainly! What would you like me to do? I'd like you to hold this please. Okay. Now, we slot these in carefully. Okay. Ready? Okay. Three, two, one. We thought that the magic of reality is eye-catching and picture fat filled. I like the title because it's like the magic of reality and it mixes like non-fiction with fiction. There are so many added facts that you couldn't just cut and read from any point. I like this book, The Magic of Reality, as it's really interesting and has got lots of facts and really detailed pictures. It's like more drawn to the information and the pictures are just fitted in with the information. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah. Telling you about the inside dimensions on every page of the flap which you could pull and I like flaps. There are lots of little flaps in the book that make you want to read more. There are lots of little flaps in the history of flight too. <laughs> Thank goodness for the Wright brothers. Well, everybody seems to think that inventions are kind of more like for boys, but it kind of had little pull-out sections and things you could open up and yes. it would make it interesting for young girls as well. Mm -hmm. Like anybody could read that book, it's very enjoyable. Yes. I like to see inside mention because there are lots of flaps and in them and they're very interactive and they tell you what the invention is and underneath they explain why it's like that. Really interesting learning about all the inventions and how um, how they came about to invent them. Like Velcro was inspired by a plant. We also thought that it was good because it covered all aspects of science. The bigger inventions, the smaller ones, and even the ones that didn't quite succeed. Oh, I hate the rain. It isn't really. It's only the natural condensation and precipitation of water. Well, I'm sorry I'm not good at geography. Maybe this will help. How the Weather Works is an eye-catching, informative book. It also includes pop-ups. It'll be designed to keep you entertained for hours. I like this book called How the Weather Works as it has a lot of information and it also has pop-ups. Um, it's very informative and interactive. Well, I thought it was so appealing whenever I first saw it. I wanted to open it and read on. Uh -huh. The content was very good because it discussed geography as well as science. It's got pop-ups. 
because sometimes it shows you how to make something, like here it says how to make a hurricane, and like, that's like, why would you make a hurricane, but like, it's really interesting as well. You can really get into this box. and pestilence because even though it's got educate it's very educational it's it still um, has funny cartoons pictures were quite interesting and it gave you a lot of facts that maybe you wouldn't know from just being in class there's lots of gross facts about horrible diseases wow. and freaky little cartoons of germs that cause them by the front cover you can tell it's going to be a science book but it's not going to be boring it also tells you how diseases spread, for example, through coughing, from animals like fleas, and from objects because germs linger on the things we handle. It's got a very good catch and cover. It's got great illustrations. I think that um, it's better than just a textbook because of the colours and the illustrations. Yeah. It makes it more interesting. It's for all the readers, even the big ones.